Section 7. Recognizing the signs of malnutrition. Identifying malnutrition early is crucial for effective intervention. Knowing the signs and symptoms of different types of malnutrition can help individuals seek timely medical attention and prevent further complications. Undernutrition often manifests as weight loss, fatigue, and muscle wasting. Children may exhibit stunted growth, delayed development, and increased susceptibility to infections. Overnutrition, particularly obesity, is characterized by excessive weight gain, increased body mass index or BMI, and abdominal fat accumulation. It can also manifest as fatigue, shortness of breath, and difficulty with physical activity. Micronutrient deficiencies often have specific symptoms depending on the deficient nutrient. For instance, iron deficiency can lead to fatigue, pale skin, and shortness of breath, while vitamin A deficiency can cause night blindness and dry skin. Section 8. Diagnosing Malnutrition, a Multifaceted Approach Diagnosing malnutrition involves a comprehensive assessment that goes beyond simply looking at weight and height. It requires a combination of clinical assessments, anthropometric measurements, laboratory tests, and dietary assessments to determine the type and severity of malnutrition. Clinical assessments involve a physical examination, reviewing medical history, and evaluating symptoms. Healthcare providers look for signs like weight loss, muscle wasting, edema, and specific deficiency symptoms. Anthropometric measurements involve taking precise measurements of height, weight, body mass index, and body composition. These measurements help determine if an individual is underweight, overweight, or obese, and track their growth over time. Laboratory tests can identify specific nutrient deficiencies by analyzing blood, urine, or other bodily fluids. These tests can reveal deficiencies in iron, vitamin A, iodine, and other essential nutrients. Dietary assessments involve evaluating an individual's food intake patterns, including the types and quantities of food consumed. This helps identify dietary imbalances and deficiencies that may contribute to malnutrition. 